Hello, my name is Bronson Miller with Miller & Company Property Management, back with another short video. Uh, this video will be on the importance of a good qualifying process, as well as how to choose between tenants. So the first thing I'd like to point out is that just having a good solid qualifying process can automatically weed out poor tenants or professional tenants, uh, meaning that when people have a history of eviction or other serious problems, uh, they won't even take the time to apply uh, to a professional property management company or if they find out uh, that you have a good process. Uh, so next I'll go over a couple of uh, good qualifying uh, indicators as well as uh, recommended minimum requirements. So first and possibly the most important is going to be rental history. Uh, rental history can be a more accurate indicator because sometimes uh, people may have bad credit but they always pay rent on time and take good care of their home and on the other hand uh, sometimes people may have great credit but a history of trashing their rentals. So next would be a good credit score. It's a good indicator, but not always perfect for the reasons I just mentioned. Uh, third one would be employment history. A solid, a solid history is a great indicator that you have a dependable applicant, because again, they could have a good credit history, but if they can't keep a job, you're unlikely to get rent on time. And finally, criminal record. In Utah, it's legal to ask about convictions, but you'll want to check your local laws also, it's important to realize that convictions are very different than arrests. And in the United States, we are innocent until proven guilty, so never ask about arrests. Also, depending on the crime that has been committed, this doesn't have to be an automatic no. Uh, even some felonies may be okay if they're not violent felonies or they're not very recent. And so finally, I want to quickly go over a couple different methods of choosing between tenants. If you're a homeowner without a property management company, you can simply just choose your favorite applicant. But if you are a property management company, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna have a system in place and stick with it at all times to avoid lawsuits. So first come, first serve is the recommended way in this case, as it is very cut and dry and leaves no question about discrimination. Uh, but you could also have a system in place to put the tenants in order of most to least qualified but you'd have to make sure it's very clearly defined and always followed. That does it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And thanks for watching and have a great day.